year 10s. I hope you're enjoying your stay at home and that we're going to be really keen to keep on doing some chemistry knowledge. So today I'm going to go over how to calculate relative formula mass. So first thing we need to know is what's a mass number? I've got my periodic table here. On my periodic table we have the name of the element the element symbol just above it, and there are two numbers. There's a smaller number, which is the number of protons, and there's a larger number, the mass number. Now, does anyone remember what the mass number tells us about the element? That's right, it's all the mass that's inside the element. So which two subatomic particles give us the mass? Protons, yes, and neutrons well done so we know that all the mass is from the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus what we're going to do today we're not going to calculate the number of protons and neutrons you've already done that what we're going to do today is use the mass to try and find out how heavy individual molecules are so let's take a look at what's in the book <laughs> um Mummy is trying to teach. Ready? Ready? Okay, so relative formula mass. So I know, for example, if I have 12, 6 carbon, this is my mass number. Okay, and then oxygen mass is 16. So if I have a molecule of CO2, how heavy is that? One carbon is 12, one oxygen is 16, what's in CO2? So the easiest way to do this is with a grid when you're learning. Some of you will be able to do this really quickly in your head, but it's always easier to learn slowly. So we have got carbon and we have got... oxygen. <clears throat> so we first of all we need to know how many atoms of each we've got. Looking at my formula CO2 I have one carbon and I've got that little two there means I've got two oxygens. Okay so now I need to know the mass this is the relative atomic mass, which is also known as the AR. And that's this number here. OK, so on your periodic table, make sure you know how to use the periodic table in your exams. I've already emailed you an exam periodic table. Make sure you know how to use it. OK, so our mass is for carbon 12 and for oxygen 16. Now, all I have to do is multiply these two together. So I'm going to say atoms multiplied by AR. So I have 12 there and I have two lots of 16, which is 32. I'm used to doing these sums. In a chemistry exam, you always have a calculator with you, or you should have. Make sure you take your calculator, make sure you use your calculator. You don't have to do it in your head if you don't want to. So once we've done this, we need to add up all the mass. So we have 12 plus 32. We have a mass of 44. Now you'll notice there's no units. Usually we always say, what is it in? Grams, kilograms, what's it in? In this case, our mass is relative to one twelfth of a carbon 12 atom. So that means there are no units because our mass is relative to one twelfth of a carbon 12. So we can't put on any units. When you are doing the higher paper, you will find out that we'll start talking about grams and moles. We won't be doing that quite yet. Let's go through another example. So if I decided to do Magnesium, uh, no, let's not do magnesium chloride. Let's do um, calcium hydroxide. 
And I've picked calcium hydroxide because there's brackets on this one. Because we need to know how to do the brackets. We're going to do exactly the same though. We have the atoms of calcium. Then we have oxygen. And finally we have Hydrogen. Okay, so first of all, how many atoms? We have one calcium. Oxygen, you'd think one? No, it's inside a bracket. That number outside the bracket is how many there are. So I have two oxygens and I have two hydrogens. Okay, so if there's a bracket, the number outside the bracket tells you how many of each individual atom there are. We don't write O2H2 because the OH2 lets us know that there's two OH ions. This is really, really important a bit further down the line, not for you right now. OK, so we then need to do the relative atomic mass. And for calcium, that's 40 on my periodic table. Oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. You will end up knowing some of these if you end up doing a lot of chemistry. So then we do atoms times AR. So I have 40, I have 32 and I have 2. And then I add it up. So 40 plus 32 is 72 plus 2 is 74. And so that's my answer. OK, I know that I have set you some work on calculating masses. Go and do that now.